hi everyone I'm continuing my JavaScript tutorial now uh, for this movie I have came out of the JavaScript and I'm trying to tell you some of the core concepts of programming uh, that are the arrays now arrays are data structure uh, data structure that holds similar type of uh, objects or data in continuous memory locations uh, that's the definition of the array you will get now what it means actually uh, you are required to store uh, some data and they're similar in nature say for example they're integer and you have put them in some pockets say in this pocket you have put 12 in this pocket it's 23 in the next pocket 4 then 6 and on and on up to a certain limit um, now this is how you store uh, arrays arrays are always similar type of elements you store in them and there is they're bounded means they have you uh, always have fixed size and the first cell you address them by the zero index and the last cell you address it by n minus one or the if the length is n now suppose you are having say 10 elements so first you you create 10 uh, uh, cells like this or 10 pockets and within these 10 pockets you put some value now uh, traditional array in a, in a traditional array you know uh, it can't the size of the array it can't be increased or can't be decreased so although you have uh, for example you have made an uh, array of 10 elements uh, and you're using only six so four are getting wasted and if uh, you have made an array of say 10 of size 10 and if you want to add 12 elements and you can't do that so array just don't get um, uh, shrink or grow remember this thing but these were in the traditional programming languages but not in JavaScript now there are certain basis you need to remember first that each pocket you have to address it in some way means uh, you have to say I want to put a value in this cell now this cell is essentially the fourth cell now you address the fourth cell by num3 where num is the array uh, so you address it like num in third brackets then 3 remember it's not 4 because the indexing of the arrays start from 0 from here and ends with n minus 1 so if we are required to access the say 10th element so you say uh, the array name num and then followed by 9 so remember th the element you want minus one and uh, here in the javascript um, your arrows are implemented basically as object remember this thing this is that's why it is a scripting language and different from other conventional language so this is it for this tutorial so remember a few things array we store similar type of data uh, arrays have lower bounds and upper bounds although you can change it indexing starts from 0 and ends with n minus 1 and if you have to access the add element you have to write the array name for example num followed by a uh, third bracket open then i minus 1 uh, and then closing third bracket now uh, from the next movie we will be using arrays right on the script thanks for watching this video